alcoholics. In this video, let's understand about the vicious circle of poverty and the circular causation. Okay, so basically what does this vicious circle of poverty and the circular causation means? It sounds very Star Wars-ish, but it is a very easy phenomenon. Okay, you all will be, you all will understand it very quickly. Okay, it implies a circular constellation of forces tending to act and react upon one another in such a way as to keep a poor country in a state of poverty. This sounds difficult, but let's draw a chain and understand what does this mean. Okay, suppose we have a poor person and being poor, he has very less food to eat. So he is underfed. And when he is underfed, if he is underfed, then his health, his health will be poor. And when his health is poor, then what will happen? His working capacity will be low. Working capacity will be low. If his working capacity will be low, he will have uh, no job. And if he has no job, then how will he eat? Then again, he is underfed. And he is underfed, he is poor. And the cycle goes on and on and on. So you see, this is in one person's perspective. We have talked about one person's perspective. It's like the whole economy. Have you heard that? A country is poor because it is poor. So it's the same scenario. Okay, He is poor and this whole cycle goes on and it ends into poverty again. So this is what happens. Poverty because he is poor, so the vicious circle goes on, goes on and the person or the country is not able to get out from that phase. That is basically known as your vicious circle of poverty, okay? Let's come to the previous slide now. Abhi, you will understand. It implies the circular constellation of all the force tending to act and react, okay? It acts, all the forces, they act and react in the same way जिससे क्या रहता है कि वो कंट्री को पावर्टी से भारी नहीं लेके आ पाते, ओके? Basically, that is the meaning of your vicious circle of poverty. Moving forward, we understood this. Now, the vicious circle of poverty has um, in the least developed countries or underdeveloping countries or underdeveloped countries has demand side as well as the supply side. So, let's look at the demand side here. Let's look at the demand side first. So here what happens is in this these countries, we have low income and due to low income, abhi income hai nahi, to there will be low demand, right? Low demand. And if there is low demand, there will be low investment. Low investment. Okay, you will now see ki how the cycle works, alright? And if there is low investment, we have capital deficiency. And if we have capital deficiency, we have what? Can you all tell? Yeah, low productivity. Okay, and again, if there is low productivity, then there is low income, okay? And the cycle goes on and on and on, okay? Now that we know what is the demand side, let's look at the supply side. The supply side. So you can all draw the cycle with me, right? Okay, so let's draw. So we have number one thing. What do we have? We have low income. So we have low income. And due to low income, we are talking about the supply side here. We have low savings and when we have low savings we have low low investment and low investment meaning capital come on you all say capital deficiency right deficiency and again low productivity And if we have low productivity, then what happens? We have low income. So this is how the cycle goes. You all know the demand side. 
यू ऑल नो द सप्लाई साइड कैन यू सी कि ड्यू टू दिस लो इनकम लो इनकम होने की वजह से वर्ट हैपेंड द साइकिल वेंट ऑन इसकी वजह से वो हुआ क्योंकि ऐसा था तो ऐसा हो गया फिर ऐसा हुआ तो ऐसा हुआ हम उससे बाहर ही नहीं आ पाए दैट इज नोन एज योर विश इज सर्कल ओके सो दैट इज वाई दिस ए आ कंट्री इज पुअर बिकॉज इट इज पुअर ओके आई होप द विश इज सर्कल ऑफ पॉवर्टी इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू इफ यू डू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर कॉमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल इकोहॉलिक्स थैंक यू